Welcome to the Advanced Geekery Project Lab, where I'm testing 3D printers for your entertainment and edification. Today we'll be unreviewing the Elegoo Jupiter Large Scale Resin Printer. My name is David Gewertz, and you're watching the Advanced Geekery channel. In addition to testing 3D printers, I also explore maker and smart home technology, stress test servers, fly drones, and regularly dive deep into advanced geekery for fun and profit. Here's how this unreview is going to work. What's an unreview, you ask? An unreview is where I give you my impressions and analysis of a product, but where I haven't actually used it. In the case of the Elgu Jupiter, it arrived without warning in a giant wooden crate. I have a small testing space, so it took quite a long time to find the space to set it up, and I have many other already scheduled projects ahead of it. My local makerspace has a project they think is perfect for the Jupiter's very large size, so like many of my previous review items, I'm giving it to them. But since it's here, I thought I'd at least show it to you and let you know where I think it fits into the pantheon of 3D printers out there. So that's it on review. Less testing, more pondering. Let's get started. The biggest thing about the Jupiter is just that it's big. It has a 277 by 156 by 300 millimeter build volume, rivaling that of many filament printers. Of course, the big difference between filament printers and this giant Jupiter is the method by which it prints very large objects. For filament printers, the bigger the build plate, the longer it takes to make a print. But since resin printers like the Jupiter expose the entire plate at once, it doesn't matter how big the build plate is, it just takes seconds per layer to expose and move to the next layer. The printer also uses a monochrome screen. We've talked about that before. While it might seem counterintuitive, Monochrome screens provide greater print resolution. That's because each light element counts towards exposing the resin, where in an RGB screen, only the blue light has a UV reaction and, and exposes the resin, wasting a full two-thirds of the lighting elements. So the 12.8-inch diagonally measured monochrome screen here provides better quality, better resolution, and it's huge. This printer is a beast. It's all metal, which is why this thing weighs a full 76 pounds. But that means it's very solid, which should help it retain its stability as it prints at its 6K resolution. As you might imagine, especially with a giant resin vat like the Jupiter has, it's entirely possible that the resin might run out before the printer finishes building something big like a helmet. One powerful feature of the Jupiter is an auto resin feeding system that allows you to keep the resin topped up without interruption. Resin is a nasty substance. To counter this problem, especially when it comes to the toxins, resin, releases into the air, the Jupiter offers a plug-in air purifier that uses active carbon to absorb and filter the resin odor. There's one other feature I love in this resin printer that's sorely lacking from most other resin printers, including other Elegoo models. A door. Look at that. It opens, it closes, it opens, it closes. Most resin printers open up by removing a translucent plastic shell from the top. This requires enough vertical space above the printer to remove the top, which precludes convenient shelf sizes for what should easily be a shelf-based printer. But the Jupiter, check it out, has a door. That's going to be the feature I'll miss most when this printer leaves the lab and takes up residence in our community makerspace. <laughs> Do I recommend you buy this thing? As an unreview, I don't feel it's fair to tell you whether to buy it or not, but there are some thoughts you should ponder in your own evaluation. First, I do not recommend this as a first printer. It's a big beast. While it has a ton of features, it's a lot to manage. Make sure you've done enough resin prints to really know what you're getting yourself into. Only get this if you have specific large-scale projects in mind. Smaller printers are much easier to manage. This printer is ideal if you're printing a lot of objects at once, for example, mass-producing gaming figures. It's also a big win for those cosplay makers who are trying to make very large helmets. But if you can get by with a smaller build plate, the Jupiter will be overkill for most applications. Definitely check out the Facebook groups for the Elegoo Jupiter. There are a lot of people who have worked through the challenges there and have been successful with this machine. There's also a smaller subset who have learned what doesn't work. Talk to them if you're unsure about your purchase. As for the company, I like Elegoo and have been very satisfied with their other products. All 3D companies have some challenges in customer support, 
but the Elgu folks really do seem to be trying to do the best job they can, and many of their other printers show that. On the other hand, and this is something I like, but something that also makes me cautious, Elgu tends to try big swings and makes things that no other 3D printer company is brave enough to try. Those moonshots, like the Jupiter and their giant filament printer big enough to make a chair, tend to be fussy and require as much work from their customers as their engineers. So you decide, do you want something incredibly cool, big, and challenging, or do you feel more comfortable with a more mainstream product? What do you think? Is this a printer you'd like to use? Let us know in the comments below. My name is David Gewertz. Go out there and make something awesome. Okay, we'll do the resin piece again. Get it together, David. There's one other feature in this resin printer. Resin. Resin. Okay, that's sorely lack. Resin. Resin. Resin is a nap. Head out, resin. 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 Get it together. Yeah.